We are coming to you live and in person from New York City. <laughs> and we saw a ghost last night. What did it look like? Oh, it was like white. <laughs> like a homie with a sheet on his head, like, ooh. <laughs> hey, welcome to Starbucks, what can we get you? Hi, could I just do a venti cold brew? Okay. And that's it. Yeah, sweet, it's uh, 5.13. Thank you. Thank you so much. You know how couples go on like coffee dates and breakfast dates and that's how they like catch up on all the tea that they like need to get the week started? This is our version of like going on a coffee date and covering all the grounds. My big story of the week is that I am leaving tomorrow to go on a trip. Actually Trinity is coming with me so we are together as a duo going on a trip. Trinity and I, the last time we went on a trip, we were camping in the forest, bug spray was in the eye. The second time we went on a trip, we were also camping on the forest and there was bears, there was swinging gondolas. Camping is no longer on the table for us. We've given up, we're moving on. So Trinity and I are going to New York City. I do have a backstory, okay? Don't I always. The reason that I have been wanting to go to New York City because it's really quite random. I met this lady named Floor, one of like God's angels. And I know that that sounds crazy. Everything that has transpired in my life in the past few months, all of this comes from Floor. And you might be thinking, Morgan, who the actual F is Floor? I was moving out of my apartment in LA and I was, you know, going through all my stuff. Once you're moving out of somewhere, you realize how much shit you have, how much shit you've acquired over the past five years and how much of that shit that you actually most definitely don't need. So then, you know, comes the process of getting rid of things, donating things, selling things, clearing out your entire life so you can pick your little ass up and get the fuck out. I would, you know, get a bunch of stuff, pile it up in boxes, drive my little self down the freeway to a Goodwill. And you would get to the Goodwill and the Goodwill would come out and say, we're not taking any more donations. And I was like, what do you mean? This is Goodwill, you're not taking any more donations? And they're like, girl, we're full. Goodwill is not good. Like we're full. I, in my head, who's trying to clean everything out, I'm like, how do we make this efficient? How do we make this so effing efficient? I put it into a pile of things and I was like, I'll just list these on Facebook Marketplace and someone could come pick them up. At first, just let me tell you, Facebook Marketplace is an entire planet of its own. I had no idea. I listed a humongous plant on Facebook Marketplace and I was like, I really don't think that anyone's gonna come pick this up. Like it's a plan, but I don't know what else to do with it because I don't wanna throw it away. I can't take it to the Goodwill, so I'm just gonna list it on Facebook Marketplace. 200 people inquired about coming to pick up my plant. Like if you're ever doubting the legitimacy of Facebook Marketplace, it's crazy. You could list anything, someone will be on your front porch picking it up in like 12 minutes. I was having people come in 10 minute increments. I felt like I was running an underground business. Like I thought that the police were gonna show up and be like, what are you doing here that so many people are arriving to collect things from your garage? So then I had the most angelic lady that I have ever met in my entire existence on this planet. Show up at my garage to get like a painting or something. Brightest green eyes, she was very soft spoken, very kind, like as soon as she got out of her car, I was like, oh, I'm safe. She circles around and she's like, oh my gosh, I would love to come back. I have my three kids with me, they're waiting. I'm thinking about this woman all night because I was like, who is she? Floor comes back the next day, goes into this whole story about how she is from Ecuador. Her entire family is from Ecuador. Her, her husband, and her three little babies. And they just moved here and I was like, oh, what brought you here? And she was telling me the story about how her little teeny tiny baby that was obviously in Ecuador had diabetes and he couldn't, because he was so small, he couldn't get the proper treatment for everything that he needed. And then her story just has so many layers as like they had to pick up, they had to leave all their stuff behind, they had to leave their house behind, they had to leave their cars behind, everything, move to America to get their son his medical treatment. She was giving me this whole spiel of like, Morgan, oh my gosh, you're so young. It's, um, it's an amazing thing to not have to have a plan. Like you don't have a husband, you don't have kids, you don't have people at home that are depending on you. Like you can go do whatever you want. And she was like, if I didn't have someone to go with me to do something, but I wanted to do it, I would just do it. And if I wanted to go somewhere, I would just go somewhere because you don't have anyone waiting for you. Uh, my speech compared to her speech sounds like absolute hot garbage because hers was like very angelic and well-spoken. I was floored, floored, floored. 
and I looked at her and I was like, maybe I'll go to like New York City or something. And she was like, yes, you have to go to New York City. You have to go to New York City. And now I've had it in my head for the past three months that because I met Flora and because she gave me this whole angelic speech, I mean, I just have to go to New York City. I have to. I don't have a choice. It might sound like it was a very simple interaction with a lady from Facebook Marketplace, but it changed my whole life and everything I believe in. I met an angel. I am taking the message. You know, I'm like, what's a sign from the universe if you don't listen to the sign? What's the point of a traffic light if you don't obey the traffic light? You're gonna crash and burn and die. You have to follow the signs. So I'm following the signs that we're going to New York City. I, we're gonna have to start packing. Like, when the packing begins, the robe comes on. As you can see over here, whenever I pack, I like to start making piles of things because the theme is New York. I wanted to get a few new things to wear just so I feel like fresh and revived and up with the times. You guys know this, I am a thread up girl through and through. I swear to you, like in real life, walking around the streets, I'm a walking thread up ad because people come up to me all the time and they're like, where did you get that? And I'm always like, thread up. And they're like, you're joking. And I'm like, I'm, I'm really not joking. I truly cannot express to you how much I actually love thread up and how much I actually wear their clothes up, down, around town, everywhere I go. Thread up is the easiest, simplest place to find amazing quality secondhand clothes that are good for the environment, beautiful on your body, perfectly suited to your liking, online, on your phone, scroll through, find brands you love, up to 90% off. Okay, let me show you. Contestant number one, I like to call her the Manhattan mom. We don't know if she's worth $5 or $5 trillion. This Burberry bag, I kid you not, has been attached to my body as if it is my third arm. Also, have been seeing these maxi skirts everywhere all the time. We are in the era of the mini skirts, everyone. Mark your calendars. It's saucy from the front. It's saucy from the back. Back, I love these dental floss shoes. They retail for $80 and I got them for only 28. Contestant number three. This is the girl that you choose not to take home for Easter, but you take her like the Saturday before and then your mom falls in love with her. So you end up dating her anyway. If you're looking to liven up your wardrobe, save her back to school for a fun little trip, fun little date. I highly, 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 Recommend checking out ThreadUp. When you find some ever so special treasures up in there, you can use my code, which is Morgan35. That'll get you 35% off your first order, plus free shipping. My makeup is ruined. I'm sweating from packing and trying on so many clothes, but thank you so much to ThreadUp for sponsoring this video. And we are gonna keep packing because we have a lot to do. It's all you, it's all you. Remember to take a look around your seat and please make sure you have everything you have brought on board with you. On behalf of your New York City based flight attendants and your Minneapolis based flight deck crew, it certainly has been our pleasure serving you on the way to New York this afternoon. Dude, one of us can take a bath and the other one can watch. <laughs> I get like nervous when I'm first starting and sometimes I have to like warm up for a second, like get a little comfortable, get a little... <laughs> My hair is not doing anything good right now. We are coming to you live and in person from New York City. Trinity and I are feeling a little adventurous and we this came... This is a birthday trip, dummy. The one thing that I wanted to do while we were in New York is go on the subway because last time I came to New York, no one that I was with let us go on the subway. And I want to go feel the foot long. We're going on a full tour today before our flight. We're going to go on the subway to the Empire State Building. We're about to get a slice of pizza and we have to get ice cream. And we saw a ghost last night. Oh yeah, we live right over here, by the way. I was dead asleep and Trinity was like, there's a ghost. Because if we see something, where the fuck? I'm so scared right now. I am literally so Okay, but if we scared. see something, is no, it worse than not up, seeing something? I and like... straight up think I literally saw a ghost. You got up and you went pee. I'm sitting over here. I turn the light off. I'm like, okay, walk back to the bed. Can't see absolutely anything. Like, it is pitch black. And so I'm like standing there, like trying to let my eyes adjust, feeling around. I like zoomed into like his face. What did it look like? Oh, it was like white. <laughs> like a homie with a sheet on his head, like. Ooh. <laughs> I was like, Ooh. 
It's a little spooky arm. here. Oh, it was like sheer, like seat, like it was like. <gasps> <laughs> I'm so done with you. I'm so, I'm so scared. Did you actually see something? Oh. My heart is pounding. I feel like I'm literally gonna have a heart attack. I'm scared. Look out the peephole. Oh. Dark, dark hallway with the most haunting lights you've ever seen. It looks like The Shining. Look at it. Weird things, yeah. weird things happen. Weird things happen. We've had multiple people just try to walk in. We'll be sitting on the bed and someone's like, and it sounds like this. And they start opening the door and we're like, hello. And they're like, oh, sorry, I didn't know you were in here. Like, <laughs> we're staying in here. Like, what do you mean like, you didn't know we're in here? One room assignment per guest. We've been finding miscellaneous things, so we'll just leave that there for the next goer. Other than that, though, you should the hotel room is very cute. I love looking down at this little restaurant. Okay. This way we go. <laughs> Welcome to our first New York adventure. I'm gonna be back with some cheese. She's going to get cheese. I think the most effective version of entertainment is sitting your ass down in a chair and just watching people. Like, I love to look at what people are wearing, what kind of headphones they have on, what kind of shoes they have on, the pace at which they are walking. Do they look like they're hustling to work? Do they look like they're just out on a little fun walk? Do they look like they're strolling with their friends after brunch a little drunk? Everyone is doing something different here. Everyone. Oh, yeah. There's people that look like they're hustling, ready to go to Wall Street and make $10 million today, and there's people that look like they haven't been sober in like been five years. Crack. New York is different, man. <laughs> I'm just connecting the dots. It says FM and that says FM. The closest I've ever gotten to something like this is like subway surfers. I'm so excited. This feels so like advanced. Go ride your credit card. Oh my god, it's our subway ticket. Oh, that's so cool. Everyone watching this is like, congrats, you can do the bare fucking minimum of society. <laughs> hey, this is exciting, this is such a great. exact opposite way. Exit because <laughs> we're not going the right way. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, that was a flaw. Well, we figured out how to get on. Did we figure out which direction we're going? No. Well, nice. now we're in the Uber. Now we're in the Uber. <laughs> I guess you can't expect to succeed at something the first time you uh, do it. I don't know how we go. I don't know how we went that wrong. That girl's outfit is cute. Like, look at that. Oh, that is so cute. She looks so cute. That is so cute. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was really good. It's the same as Sam's Club Pizza. Yeah. Friday morning. New look shit still can Wait, out. is the building moving or the sky? The sky. <laughs> all over. Still for a little bit. Can't you sit still for a little? Can't you sit still for a little bit? Can't you sit still? Teacher told me need to get that pencil up out of my nose. Can't hold on a singular pose. Switch from. Two uh, how long have you been a taxi driver? Oh, well, I'm driving like last 11 years. 11 in wow. New York City. Yeah. You've seen wow. some crazy shit, huh? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It's been a very long day. I am ready to be in good old Denver, Colorado. We bought neck pillows. I had a neck pillow and I lost it at TSA, so then I had to rebuy one. And I had a lady at the airport make me a PB and J. Can't you sit still for a little bit? Can't you sit still for a little? Can't you are about to witness me transform into another person.
Makeup is done. It can only go up from here. I look like Big Bird. This <laughs> rain is not friendly with my self tanner. I'm gonna start dripping like a freaking. Please don't show my outfit. I look like Grandma Bird. Oh my god. Happy birthday. Thank Happy you all birthday. for coming. Everyone's here against their whip. Oh, please. Oh, we have yes. Megan Markle joining us for dinner. In our own private room that we didn't even ask for. I know. We're the only people here on a Sunday at four. Are you and Trinity going out tonight? Is that why you're all dressed up? Or is this look for us exclusively? If you're looking for an old rich sugar daddy, this would be the place to come. Because like old retired people come here. Not at 4 p.m. <laughs> Apparently yeah. not at 4 p.m. on a Sunday. <laughs> yeah. Tell me some old guy wouldn't love my big bird outfit and be like, that's so cute. Because it's your 25th birthday. So uh -huh. that's the You're silver year. So we came to a nice restaurant so we can take all their silverware. Mm. I get these texts every day. Crush unwanted fat. I get on Instagram every time I open it, it's just a bunch of ads like, does your belly stick out of your shirt? You need a belly, <laughs> belly men's shirt for men with bellies. Every day. Have you tried to buy one? Yeah. <laughs> he really did. We're going to the bathroom. Every year I age, I feel like I get more and more like Jennifer Coolidge. I love her. I feel like I can do her voice very well. Do you know who that is? That's like her most recent. Nah. The mom. <laughs> do you think that I sound like Jennifer Coolidge as I age? <laughs> I feel like I'm starting to look like her. Like once I start needing to get Botox, we're gonna have the same personality. You sound like somebody and I, I can't figure it out. <laughs> Do you think that I'm gonna be a good aunt? Oh my god, yeah. I Are you so. gonna let me babysit your child without supervision? I will. Yeah. I'm not nervous. Should I be nervous? No. To have a baby? No, for you to watch it. No. Uh, yes. We did want her to carry the baby, but then after I saw her trip a lot, I was like, I don't know. I do yes. not have good genetics, and you'd, your baby would have a lot of mental issues, so. You have the same genetics as mine. <laughs> well, good luck with your baby. You just hope you get Rylan's DNA and not mine. Okay, Jennifer has to go to the bathroom. Good luck. I'm done with her. Can you pass me some toilet paper? Here you go. Do you get it? Why would you put it on the floor, you nasty bitch? Do you want more? Yes. I'll use it out here. I give this bathroom a 10 out of 10. Perfect privacy, perfect lighting. Oh, oh I, I, had, I thought you were getting the song. Thank you. Oh, that is so cute. Oh, wait, I got it. Oh, you got it with you. Oh, I guess we better start singing. Happy birthday. You only get one wish. You one wish. Okay. Remember in... <laughs> is that bad luck? Yes. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I mean, I got mine, so good luck to you. Cute. It says happy birthday on it. That is cute. Whoa, that looks looks incredible. Oh. oh, that one says happy birthday. Oh, here, you need a flash, you need a flash. Oh. Whoa, that is gorgeous. Oh, yeah, butter cake really taste good. test. Oh, yeah. It's always <laughs> 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 Buttery. It is excruciatingly delicious. Are you gonna try some? Oh well, yeah, I was getting your taste <laughs> test. Oh. <laughs> That is the end of the night. <laughs> I'm going to bed. Well, actually we're going to the hot tub. Thank you to ThreadUp for sponsoring this vlog. You can use code MORGAN35 for 35% off your first purchase plus free shipping, babes. Plus free shipping. <laughs> we went to the hot tub. I thought that was the end. It wasn't the end. We went to the hot tub and I don't know how I got water in my phone and it won't let me charge it because it's like, it warning! Yes, it said lightning cable can't charge because warning, flash flood <laughs> is in the phone. Warning again? Warning! <laughs>